Hi everyone, today we're going to study testing the difference between two means for small independent samples and this is part one. T-test is used to test the difference between two means when these four conditions are satisfied. Number one, the population standard deviations are not known. Second, one or both sample sizes are less than 30. Third, samples are independent. Fourth, samples are taken from normally or approximately normally distributed populations. Let us see now the formulas for the t-test for testing the differences between two means of small independent samples. This is the first formula and we're going to use this when population variances are assumed to be unequal. And this is t equals x bar sub 1 minus x bar sub 2 all over this big radical and the radicand is a sum of two fractions the first fraction is s sub 1 square over n sub 1 plus the second fraction whose numerator is s sub 2 square over n sub 2. This x bar sub 1 and x bar sub 2 are the sample means. The s sub 1 square and the s sub 2 square are the sample variances, while n are the sample sizes. Since we are using t-test, we need to have degree of freedom. And this is the formula. It can be n sub 1 minus 1 or n sub 2 minus 1. Take note, we are going to use whichever is smaller. Now this is the second formula. We are going to use this when population variances are assumed to be equal. And the formula is T equals this big fraction where the numerator is x bar sub 1 minus x bar sub 2. In the denominator is a product of two big radicals. The first radical is n sub 1 minus 1 multiplied by s sub 1 square plus the quantity n sub 2 minus 1 times s sub 2 square and the denominator here is n sub 1 plus n sub 2 minus 2 and the second radical the radicand is the sum of two fractions. The first fraction is 1 over n sub 1 plus the second fraction is 1 over n sub 2. Also, we take note that x bar sub 1 and x bar sub 2 are the sample means. The s sub 1 square and s sub 2 square are the sample variances whereas the n sub 1 and n sub 2 are the sample sizes. Computing for the degree of freedom we have this formula n sub 1 plus n sub 2 minus 2. Let us see this example. 
the average size of a farm in Indiana County, Pennsylvania is 191 acres. The average size of a farm in Green County, Pennsylvania is 199 acres. Assume the data were obtained from two samples with standard deviations of 38 and 12 acres respectively and sample sizes of 8 and 10 respectively. Can it be concluded at alpha equals 0 0.05 that the average size of the farms in the two counties are different? Assume the populations are normally distributed and population variances are not equal. To solve this, first we should note that since the variances are not equal, the first formula will be used. Step 1. State the hypothesis and identify the claim. We write here H sub 0. This is the null hypothesis. Mu sub 1 equals mu sub 2. In words, we are saying that there is no significant difference between the two average sizes of the farm. And H sub 1 is the alternative hypothesis. And we write mu sub 1 is not equal to mu sub 2. In this problem, the claim is the alternative hypothesis. Step 2 is to find the critical value. We take note that the test is two-tailed. As we can see, in the alternative hypothesis, we use not equal sign. Since alpha equals 0 0.05, and the variances are unequal, the degree of freedom are smaller of n sub 1 minus 1 and n sub 2 minus 1. In this case, degree of freedom will be 7, and that is the 8 minus 1. Hence, from T distribution table, the critical values are positive 2.365 and negative 2.365. For step 3, compute the test value. So the first formula is here and let us do the substitution. X bar sub 1 is 191 minus x bar sub 2 is 199 all over this big square root and the s sub 1 square is 38 square over the n sub 1 is 8 plus s sub 2 square now becomes 12 square over n sub 2 is 10. Simplifying the numerator and denominator respectively, we have here now negative 8 all over the square root of 194.9. When we get the value of the denominator, we will have this 13.96066. And the fraction will give us the final answer as negative 0.57. For step 4, we will make decision. Considering this figure now, we have a two-tail test where we shade the two tails and these are the critical regions. In the middle is 0 and the test value here falls on the non-critical region. 
So our decision is do not reject the null hypothesis. We take note again that the test value is outside the critical region. Step 5. Summarize the result. So we say now there is not enough evidence to support the claim that the average size of the farms are different. So again, when we have the step 4, when we say do not reject the null hypothesis, it only means that we are accepting that null hypothesis. Eventually, we are rejecting the alternative hypothesis. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.